Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? Steve here with Rake and Profit coming to you guys with another live show. And in today's show, we are going to be covering the best sweaters, the best men's sweaters that sell on eBay. So whether you're brand spanking new or you've been in the game for a while selling on eBay, or even if you're more advanced and you've been selling online for a couple of years now, this video is going to help you out because we're going to dive firsthand into the eBay sold listings. And it's just gonna be it's gonna be pure education, guys. That's all hundred percent education. We're gonna be running through all the various brands that are selling on eBay. And to be more specific, I'm gonna share my screen with you guys in a second. But to be more specific, I'm gonna narrow down the search again into men's sweaters that sold on eBay for forty dollars or more used in the United States. And the reason why I'm breaking it down, um, in terms of $40 minimum sell price and used is because when you're out in the field trying to find these items to resell and make money on eBay, the most common way that you're going to find these items are at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. Um, those are probably the most, the, the, the most, you know, easiest ways, I guess to say the easiest ways you'd be able to find them. And most of the time you're going to get them from those locations. And if you find them there, they're probably going to be used and you're probably going to want to sell them for at least 40 or more. If you're looking to make some really good, you know, profit and have some margins there. Now, again, you can sell sweaters for 15, 20 bucks, but you know, I, I feel like I know you guys well, and I, I, I know that you really value your time and you don't want to waste your time, you know, buying something for five or six bucks and selling it for 15 because after fees, after shipping, after you, you know, put in your price in terms of your cost of goods. I mean, you're not going to be looking at much profit. So that's why I want to focus on the $40 price point. Um, also, I want to let you guys know this is a live show right now. We are live. So if you are watching live, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know that you can hear me okay. Number one, I am in my garage right now um, working on a shipment. My buddy is right next to me. And I want to make sure that you can hear me okay and that the internet signal is coming through all right. So I'm going to take a second to go into the comments section and make sure that you can hear me okay. So bear with me for one moment. Uh, looks like we got someone in the house called Spooky. I like that name. Spooky says, sounds good, man. Hear you perfect. Awesome. I'm glad that you can hear me okay. And I'm looking forward to helping you guys out as much as possible. So I do want to say, number one, we're going to be studying the sold listings on eBay firsthand. We're going to be looking at sweaters, men's sweaters that are used, that sold within the United States for $40 or more. I'm going to be searching directly on the sold listings on eBay. And also, I'm going to be diving into the comments section to answer any questions that you got. You guys have related to selling clothing, eBay, or just making money online in general. So with that being said, it looks like we are good to go. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. And we're going to dive right into this show. All right, share my screen. Let's see, entire screen. Cool. So you should be able to see my screen right now, guys. And uh, again, if you hear some noise in the background, some some weird duck noises, not like the animal duck, but like duct tape. If you hear some noises in the background, it's my buddy. He's working on a Amazon FBA shipment right now. So we are the real deal. You know, we're buying, we're selling, and uh, you know, just focus on the content. Anyways, guys, let's dive into this live show. So here's a brand right here, guys. I've never come across this brand. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up in another uh, tab right here, but this brand is called uh, Tom Brown. Really, really high end brand right here. And again, I've never come across this brand. It sold for four hundred twenty five dollars on eBay, uh, but I have seen sellers who have picked up this brand and just very, very high end, rare, hard to come across, super expensive in the store. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys some pictures right there. That's that's what one of the tags looks like from New York. There's a picture of the back, front, and there's the tag, guys. If you're ever at a thrift store and you come across this brand, I want you guys to pop harder than you've ever popped before because this is a brand that can make you really, 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 really good money. And not only in sweaters, but in all types of items when it comes to selling clothing on eBay. So definitely you know, store that brand in your memory banks. I can't promise you that you're going to come across this brand because, again, you know, I've been buying and selling on eBay for over three years 
And uh, I've never come across this brand. At least I don't think or recall that I have. So anyways, that's a very good brand to be on the lookout for right there. And uh, also I want to mention to you guys, after the live show, I'm going to accumulate all of these brands into one PDF. So if you guys you know, don't have the time to watch this whole entire um, broadcast, check in maybe in a couple hours, and I'm going to have a free PDF download for you. So uh, you just put in your email, you'll download uh, you know, the PDF, and you'll get access to all these brands. All right, here's a really awesome brand when it comes to uh, men's sweaters. I've sold this brand several times before. And uh, the most common way that you're going to be able to notice this brand, and uh, this isn't a fine example, but a lot of times there'll be these like metal clasps that are on the sweater. And uh, it's just a, it's a sure sign that it's a Dale of Norway. Uh, but this is, according to the title, 125th anniversary sweater. Not really sure what that means right there. But if you take a look down in the corner, you see the, uh, the tag. Dale, Dale, Dale of Norway, and uh, this is a brand that is super, super prop profitable. Uh, again, guys, um, when it comes to comes to these brands, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but you want to make sure they're in good condition. So you know, fully inspect the item, right? Lay it out, or, or if it's on a clothing rack and you're at a thrift store, hang it up on a rack and and just look through. You know, look through the sleeves, look through the chest area. You know, flip it inside out if you have to. Just make sure that it's in decent condition. Now with sweaters, a lot of times you're going to find a hole here, a little flaw there. If it's something minor, I wouldn't worry about it a ton unless it's like cashmere. If, if I come across like a cashmere sweater that has a hole in it, I'll typically pass because I don't know, it's, it's a particular type of buyer when it comes to cashmere. So I haven't had good luck with, with cashmere with flaws, uh, but just inspect it. But definitely an awesome brand right here, Dale of Norway. And uh, again, if we were to, and I'll actually, I'll open up another tab right here, uh, Dale of Norway under men's clothing. You're going to notice that a lot of these items do very, very well. Uh, I'm going to go down to the sold option. I'm going to put in used. And you're going to see, I mean, look at this one. This is this is the one that I'm talking about when it comes to Dale of Norway, when I was talking about the metal clasps. These are the ones that could bring you in really big money. And they're out there. Check that out. Check out the attention to, whoa, the attention to detail. Uh, just a phenomenal item right there. And I want to show you the tag because this thing is a beauty. I mean, ugh, check this out, guys. This is such a nice sweater. There you go. Dale of Norway, pure wool. Just a very, very nice item here. And again, guys, if you're just coming into uh, this show, we do have a, a chat. We do have a chat, and uh, I'll be sure to jump into the chat from time to time to uh, see what's going on and shout some people out. Looks like we have 22 people watching live right now, so I want to thank everybody for watching live. If uh, you like these shows and you're interested in learning more about clothing, be sure to hit the like button. That'll let me know that you guys are interested in this subject matter, and I'll be sure to put out more videos along those lines. So be sure to hit the like button. Anyways, let's jump back into the sweaters. But Dale of Norway is an awesome brand to be on the lookout for right there if you guys haven't uh, been on the lookout for that right there. Uh, here we have a Hugo Boss, and uh, I'm going to open this up to take a look at the exact type of item. And you want to know what? This is actually an international item that sold. I'm going to have to check off a different option. Uh, but I've always done well when it comes to, uh, this is kind of like a pullover sweater right here. It's got the little one fourth zip, but I've always done well with Hugo Boss items when it has like a really big logo of the brand or an embroidery or something like that because people who wear Hugo Boss, they want to sport it. It's the same thing with Ralph Lauren Polo. It's the same thing with Lacoste brands along those lines, you know, people, they're wearing it because they want to be proud of the brand. You know, people don't spend 100, 200 bucks for a Hugo Boss item to have people question whether it's Hugo Boss. They want people to know they're wearing it for a reason. And um, here's a fine example right here. I'm not sure of the conversions because this is in a different currency right here of what this is actually worth. And actually, as I look closer, I guess it's $116 in uh, US currency. But, uh, you know, people are looking for these types of items. So, Definitely be on the lookout for Hugo Boss. One thing I want to mention as well is, guys, you, you're going to have to take each brand that I talk about with a grain of salt. And you might be wondering, well, what do you mean, Steve, take each brand with a grain of salt? You're talking about brands that are selling for good money. Aren't they all going to sell for good money? No. That's the thing, guys. Prices are going to vary on all these different items based on the color, the size, the material, the style, the time of year, 
how many sellers there are, the pictures, the titles, the keywords, the descriptions. There's so many factors that come into play in terms of how much money you're going to get for a particular item. For example, this one went for $116 in US currency, you know, based on this listing, right? Someone else could sell the exact same item and get 150 or maybe 70. It really depends. There's so many factors. And if this was a different color, a different size, a different material, a different style, just a little bit different, the price could be completely uh, different as well. So I do want to just put that out there so you guys are aware of that if you're looking to uh, jump into selling sweaters on eBay. What's going on, Parker Profits? Good to see you. Brian Huntsman, we got a green room hustler in the house. Do sweaters sell during the summer? I've sold sweaters all year long, and uh, the reason is is because the temperature is different all over the country. Plus, now with you know the global shipping program, or if you ship directly internationally, you know the the temperature and the seasons are different all over the world. So, definitely uh, sell all clothing items sell all throughout the year. Obviously, some you know times of the year are going to sell sweaters are going to sell a little better or you know polo shirts are going to sell better uh what's going on huh? bonafide hustler in the house good to see you man uh, i'm excited to see you in july and appreciate you helping me out with those workouts man for sure uh just sold chaps ralph lauren sweater for 33 buckaroos that's awesome brian i'm telling you there is money to be made out there with sweaters sons of pokemon says thanks for the info much appreciated you are welcome okay let's keep diving into the uh the content let's get back into it uh here we have a brand called barber and i've actually sold this brand before um my best my best item that i've ever sold within this brand was a wax jacket by this brand that sold for some really crazy profits um Let's take a look at this actual listing right here, and I'm going to write down this brand for you because, again, at the end of the show, I'm going to give you guys a free download uh, for all these brands to uh, store in your smartphone or your little journal or whatever you have to study. Uh, but check this out right here. Check out the tag. Awesome item right there. Made in Scotland. When it comes to sweaters, guys, be on the lookout for Made in Scotland. That's a dead giveaway that it may hold some profit. Also, when it comes to sweaters, be on a lookout for Made in Italy. Yes, Made in Italy, Made in Scotland, two good locations to uh, have sweaters created. Also, New York as well. Uh, but this sold for $45, a little crew neck sweater right here. Uh, let's take a look at the listing. Size medium, chest 21 and a half inches, which is you know, corresponds with a medium length 27. Um, I want to look at the item specifics to see what's going on. So we have a crew neck. Medium, solid, solid pattern, 100% wool. And that brings me to another topic, material. When it comes to sweater, sweaters, material means a lot. There's a lot of different materials out there for sweaters. You know, you can find silk sweaters, wool sweaters. You could find cashmere sweaters. Um, you know, there's even, I believe there's even cotton sweaters as well. But when you're looking for sweaters, you want to look for wool and especially cashmere. Cashmere sweaters go for pretty much the most money. And uh, we'll do a little research as well into cashmere sweaters. Uh, but I love cashmere sweaters. Even lower end brands in the, the cashmere material can do very well. So don't judge a brand by its cover. Not a, not a book by its cover, a brand by its cover. Doesn't really make sense, but what I'm trying to say is all because it's a lower end brand, don't say to yourself, oh, that's not gonna bring in any money. Because if it's, if it's got a unique design, but especially if it's cashmere, it could bring in some really, really good money. Um, even Christmas sweaters as well, which we could talk about later on. But let's keep moving forward. Let me X out of this and X out of that. Um, check this out, guys. This is a staple. This should be a staple in your selling clothing on eBay diet. This is a vintage Pendleton. And uh, check out the title right here. Vintage Pendleton, high-grade Western wear sweater, extra large, USA, native uh, native pattern Southwest. Um, good keywords. Just be sure not to write, uh, I believe Navajo or Native American. I believe those keywords are restricted on eBay, which means they'll probably pull down your listing. Uh, so just be careful, but you're going to want to double check that. Check this out right here. Pendleton is an amazing brand to be on the lookout for, especially if it's got a really cool kind of Navajo, Native American uh, theme to it. Again, you don't want to use those keywords, but you know, I'm just trying to uh, give you a feel for it. Southwestern, Southwestern, uh, Southwest. I'm thinking of going on a plane to Texas. A Southwest theme is, uh, 
you know, it's in demand. People are looking for these types of items. And uh, here, I'll do a search for you guys real quick to show you what I'm talking about here. So, uh, oops, I just went somewhere I wasn't supposed to. Okay, Pendleton sweater. Also, Pendleton blankets do really well. Uh, also, I know that's a different topic, but uh, if you ever come across a Pendleton blanket, good condition, you want to buy that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to highest first because I want to see the highest item that's sold. I'm going to go down to sold. I'm going to also customize it to uh, US only just for currency. Uh, and check this out, guys. Check this out. $299. $216. Look at this style right here. Check this out. It's called a, um, I always see the keyword, it's Lebowski, but it's a certain style of sweaters that do really, really well within this brand. I mean, check this out, guys. 159, 224, 165, 174. This is the type of bread and butter types of items you want to look out for when it comes to Pendleton. I mean, check this out, guys. I'm not kidding with you. People, you know, people say to themselves, you know, I've heard people say you can't make money with clothing. That's BS. That's absolute BS. Now, you're not going to come across an item like this every day or even every month or maybe not even every year. But, you know, put yourself in a position of being in a thrift store. Maybe you're looking for books or maybe you're looking for electronics. Why not browse through the clothing rack? You know, at least the jackets and the, you know, uh, coats area. Because what if you came across this? Imagine coming across this item. You know, you're looking around. You see a few items that you're not really too interested in. And then bada bing, bada boom, the profits are coming soon because you come across this item. I mean, imagine selling this for 200 bucks, even if you pay 20 or $30 for it, which, you know, for something like this, it might be 20 or 30 if you're in Cali. I don't know why they'd have this in California, but I know the prices are higher. Even if you paid 50 bucks, I mean, that's 200 buckaroos right there. That is not bad at all. So definitely be on the lookout for Pendleton items. Again, you know, certain items are going to go for more, but this is a raking profit jackpot item right here for sure. Let's keep moving. See, this is a brand I'm unfamiliar with, and it's funny. I've been in the game for a while, and I still come across brands that I'm unfamiliar with. Now let's let's research this together. The brand is called Norse Projects. I believe that's what it's called. Let's double check. Um, let's find a better picture of the tag. Norse Projects. I've never heard of this before. Um, never heard of it. Let's see what the material is made out of. I don't even think they have the material. Sweater or sweatshirt is in excellent condition as can seem be seen from the pics. Only reason I'm selling is because it doesn't fit. Very interesting. So let's take a look. Let's type in, let's copy this North Norse projects. And, um, you know, this might be a, uh, hold on. Let me type this in Norse projects. Let's see what this is all about. I'm going to go to pre-owned because again, that's the most common way we're going to find these items. We're going to go sold and let's check it out. I mean, I'm not in the sweater category right now, but I'm seeing all these items selling for big, big profits. So I'm not going to dive specifically into each item, but I am going to write this brand down as a brand to be on the lookout for. North, Norse, not North. Norse Projects. And again, guys, when you come across an item, you know, let's say that you download this list after the show and you have it in, in your journal or, you know, on a PDF download on your phone, you find the brand Norse projects or Barber or Pendleton or Dale of Norway or Tom Brown or Hugo boss. Say you come across one of those items. What I recommend you do since you have a smartphone, I'm assuming you do since it's 2016, download the eBay app, have the eBay app on your phone. And when you come across this item, Whatever item you find within these brands that we're talking about, try to find a similar one that's sold and compare it to see what it's going for. It's the same way with real estate. Most of the times, real estate agents, they're not going into the house analyzing each and everything to find a price. They're finding a, a, you know, a, a piece of property within a similar neighborhood, similar square footage, similar amount of baths and beds, and they price it comparative pricing. They're, they're, basing, they're pricing it based on an item or a piece of property that's similar. And it's the same thing with clothing. So find an item, you know, say you find a Tom Brown sweater, find another one, same color, same size, same material, close design, and price it accordingly to get a feel for if it's a good deal or not. So that's my advice right there. Uh, but this is an awesome item right here, guys. Norse projects. Not sure, you know, I don't know too much about it, but big deal. It's in my memory banks now. And if I come across it, you already know the slogan, guys. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, let's X out of that. Let's also go into the comment section real quick to see what is 
going on. Want to shout out some hustlers that are in the house. Again, guys, I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out, guys and gals, coming to this live webinar to talk about what to sell on eBay, the best sweaters, men's sweaters to resell for ridiculous profits on eBay. So I want to shout out James. Uh, Maori, good to have you here. We have Educated Trading Company, Cha Ching, that's right. Uh, Spooky Big Lebowski is a movie character, wore a sweater like that. That is right. Uh, Spooky says, sold a pair of old uh, Pendleton mom jeans for like 30 bucks. Looked like they were from the 80s because they were high waisted. Yeah, I mean, it's it's crazy some of the items that sell on eBay. You know, not even just clothing, all types of items, guys. It's, it's crazy. Uh, Bernard Armstrong says, hey man, I live in Scotland. Cool. Hey, Bernard, man, you've got yourself a great opportunity to make some money because you're in Scotland. Sure, you've got some amazing sweaters over there. I could only imagine um, the opportunities that you have, but I've never been in Scotland. Do they have a lot of thrift stores? Do they have a lot of secondhand stores? Let me know in the comments section below, Bernard. Uh, Blake the Badass. I love that name right there. Do not mess with Blake. He is or she is. I'm trying to see the, the picture. Uh, either way. Don't mess with Blake the Badass. We got Bonafide Hustler saying, hell yeah, Parker. So um, let's see. Picking for profit in the house. Shout me out. I need some subscribers. Picking for profit. Go check him out. I like the name. Um, educated Trading Company, why did you decide to get back into clothing raking? I do clothing part-time, uh, a little bit here or there. I mean, the reason I got back into it is because I was sick and tired of passing through these thrift stores you know, finding these clothing items and shoes and stuff like that, that were selling for good money, but I couldn't list them up because I didn't have my eBay store running. As you guys know, I sell primarily on Amazon FBA and um, I've got about 25, actually probably about 30 items that I've got to get listed up on eBay right now and probably another 20 that need to be relisted. Uh, haven't been putting a ton of effort into my eBay business. I'm pretty much full-time into my Amazon when it comes to e-commerce, um, but it's something I plan to expand more and more. But for the people out there who are looking to make their first dollar online, maybe they're not doing FBA or maybe they want to just see if it works, making money online, clothing's a great way to go about, guys. I mean, that's how I started. That's how I quit my job. That's what allowed me to move out of my you know, parents' house and get my own place and you know, get my own warehouse and storage center. I mean, a couple years back. So you know, I keep uh, you know, eBay near and dear to my heart, and I, I truly believe that it's a great opportunity. And I want to give you guys a few reasons why I think it's a great opportunity. Number one, the first reason why I think clothing is a great opportunity is because it's hard work. It's very, very hard work. And there's more and more resellers who are getting spoiled into the Amazon FBA profits. And what I mean by that is, I mean, it's very streamlined. You know, Amazon FBA is very streamlined. You source everything, you pick it, you pack it, you ship it all off to Amazon, you're done, you know? That's me clapping my hands together, and then you collect your profit. More and more resellers are going the Amazon FBA route because, you know, let's be let's be honest, it's a lot less work in my eyes compared to eBay. eBay's a lot more work because not only are you sourcing it like everybody else on Amazon and Etsy and all the, the other platforms, but they're having to, you're having to take pictures, you're having to measure it, you're having to create your own descriptions, you're having to you know store it at your house, you're having to pick it, pack it, ship it, deliver it, customer service. There's so many aspects. So that's why I think it's one great opportunity. The, 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 the main reason why it's a great opportunity because it's hard work and a lot of people don't want to do the work. Number two, clothing's abundant everywhere, thrift stores, secondhand shops, uh, you know, you can find it pretty much anywhere, garage sales, estate sales, uh, but mostly thrift stores. It's very abundant. Walk into any thrift store in the United States. What are you going to see the most of? You're going to see number one, clothing, and number two, books. Um, and number three, I mean, I think there's a lot of money out there because, you know, people want to look good. They don't want to pay these ridiculous prices for these clothing at the stores. I mean, you know, supposedly we're in a downturn in the economy in the United States. I don't see it, but supposedly we are. But you know, people are trying to save money and they but they want to look good, they want to dress good. And you know, I just don't think that people want to pay the full retail prices for these items. And you know, I think they'd rather go on eBay and get it that way. So for those for those reasons, I believe it's definitely a great opportunity. But with that being said, let's keep moving. Uh, throughout this uh, broadcast and uh, taking a look at some other items. Here's an item right here. Ermini Gildo Yegna, Ermini Gilda Zegna. Who knows what it's pronounced? Ask 10 people. You get 12 different responses. Jameson, I stole that line from you, I think. Um, the line where you say you ask 10 different people and you get 11 or 12. Oh, yeah. I stole that from you. 
Copy, copyright uh, Jameson Philippi. Uh, but Ermini Gilda, Zegna, Yegna, call it what you want to call it. Uh, this is an item that sold for $40.32. I actually want to switch this over to US only, so that might disappear. But I am going to throw that name on the list that I'm writing down right now for you guys. Ermini Gilda, Yegna, that's that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, I've sold that brand so many times, guys. So many times. It's an Italian brand. It's high end. It's expensive in the stores. It's 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 in demand. People love it. People love that Italian brand. So I'm not going to dive too deep into it. Um, I will do a, a simple search for you guys, but I do want to let you know that Ermin Igildo Yegna is a brand you want to be on the lookout for. And here I'm going to type in sweater real quick. I'm going to hit pre-owned. And I'm going to hit sold. And I'm going to show you guys firsthand that this stuff does sell. 40, 22, 20, 24, 79, 35, 39. And now some of these are best offers. 29, 49. I mean, you guys you guys get the point. Uh, this is an awesome brand to be on the lookout for. I mean, here's one. Two extra large European size 56, which is uh, going to be uh, similar to a 46 in US. 100% wool, 47 buckaroos. Here's another one. Best offer under 44.99. Um, you know, the goal of this presentation isn't to necessarily break down each and every little thing, right? It's to really open up your eyes to the opportunities because half the battle is just realizing that it's possible, right? Half the battle is actually saying to yourself, wow, like this stuff's actually selling. I'm on eBay. It's selling. I'm seeing normal people are selling it and it's possible. So that's really the goal of this presentation. It's not to educate you specifically on each and every little thing, which we could do in the future if you'd like. I have no problem, and it would actually be really cool for both of us to learn more and more. Um, but look at this, guys. I mean, I can't make this stuff up. There's nothing to sell you. There's no course. There's no program. I mean, this is it. You're being educated firsthand. Go out and make it happen, guys. There are so many opportunities. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy how many opportunities there are out there. And it kills me when I hear somebody say, oh, I'm so sick and tired of working my nine to five job. There's no money out there. The economy's bad. Go get it. Go make it happen. It's 2016, guys, with all this technology and, you know, just websites and just the internet. I mean, it is just, you know, I'm so grateful to be in this opportunity to realize and to be able to notice all these opportunities. Some people, they just don't know. But if you're watching live, you know right now that there's so many ways to make money, not only with clothing, but with just a million different things. I mean, I'm not even going to get into it, guys. I'm getting too excited right now. Let's keep moving and checking out some of the other items that sold. Now, here is a cashmere item. I don't know if I know this brand. Uh, Mallow? There's so many brands out there, guys. Mallow, M-A-L-O. I'm going to write that down to do a little more research on it. But you remember I was talking about cashmere, guys? Cashmere is big, big money. Big money in cashmere. Good condition. Uh, this is actually being sold by Linda's Stuff. And uh, this seller, she's actually, I believe she's a multi-million dollar eBay seller. She's had some... Uh, TV time, people talking about her and stuff. But look up the seller, guys. Um, here, I'm going to show you. Let's see if we can see her feedback. Look at the feedback. She has 605,000 feedback on eBay. Hey, Jameson, how would you like to have 600,000 feedback on eBay? Sign me up. Sign me up. But uh, check out this store, guys. This is a multi-million dollar eBay seller right here. Um, but let's type in, let's type in Mallow. Uh, men's sweater just to get a feel for what exactly is going on here because not every item is going to sell for really good money um, it might just be the cashmere items so let's go to used and there we go yeah look at these guys they're all selling for good money 30 bucks plus that is going to go on the list mallow or malo i'm not sure how to pronounce it but bada bing bada boom all right, let's X out of that. Let's jump back into the comments section to see what is going on right now. Got 40 people watching live. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you guys coming to hang out for a little bit. This isn't going to be a super long webinar, guys. This is just a spur of the moment thing. Just want to jump on here and uh, drop some knowledge and help each other out to learn because, you know, I'll be 100% honest with you guys. You know, I do have a little bit of a motive making these videos and it's learning for myself as well. You know, don't ever think that you know it all. I've been selling clothing for years. I've written books on it. I've written guides. 
but there's so much more to learn guys. So I'm like, I'm killing two birds with one stone right now. I'm helping you guys out, opening your eyes to the opportunities, but also educating myself and getting back in the game myself. So uh, Parker Profit says the future is now. That's right. Scott Fitzgerald says, what the hell have you done with Jameson? Where is he? Give me, give me back my son, Scott Fitzgerald. Do you know Scott? <laughs> Oh my God. He just dropped. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but he got so excited, Scott, when you said that. He literally dropped. I don't know. What, what did you drop? I just dropped uh, $200, $200 worth of games. Thanks, Scott. Scott, I want my $200. Educated Trading Company says e commerce is the future. I agree. Brooke Hayes says those people got to get down with the bada bing, bada boom. I'm telling you, Brooke. I don't know you, Brooke, but I like you. I like you a lot. Uh, chai Latte says, hey, Steve. Chai Latte, I know. I wish I had a Chai Latte right now. I have I have a coffee right now from Dunkin' Donuts. Hmm. Let me uh, let me take off this screen share real quick so you guys can see my beautiful face. All right. I'm just kidding. Anyways, I'm back. Got myself a little Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Having fun, guys. Having fun. Let me show you, Jameson, what he's up to right now. Jameson, say hello. So those are all my bikes that I resell on Craigslist. A few. Those are some of his uh, items that he purchased. Make sure to buy them all and crash the price on it. <laughs> What's in your hand, man? Show the people. Iron Man 2. Got that for 5 bucks, 10 bucks at, oh, 10 bucks. 10 bucks at Walmart. Nice. Awesome. Cool. Well, we just wanted to give you a little shout out. Cool. All right. Cool story. <laughs> Anyways, guys, um, let's see if there's any more questions coming in, and then we'll dive back into the – Sold listings. Uh, Pola Shet, good to see you. When I say that phrase here at work, bada bing, bada boom, people look weird at me. I'm telling you guys, that phrase is catching on. I've got Jameson saying it. I've actually got Artie Karki saying it. If you don't know Artie Karki, you guys are sleeping under a rock. Um, yeah, man, kaboot, car boot sales, charity. What's a car boot sale? Have you ever heard of a car boot sale, Jameson? I don't know. I think it's a different term. Uh, I think he's from uh, from Scotland. So, cast generator stuff like that. Rake and love your videos. Thanks, King James. I appreciate it. Uh, picking for profit. Good to see you. Good to see you. Anyways, guys, let's keep uh, let's get back to the exciting stuff. Let me uh, share my screen one more time with you guys, and let's cover some more clothing items. Okay, how do I share my screen? Bada bing. Bada boom. Okay, cool. We're back. We're back in action, guys. All right. So let's uh, slide this back over. Okay. So we went over the brand Mallow. Mallow. Here's another high end brand. I don't know how to pronounce it, guys. I'm, you know, I'm not an English teacher. Uh, Kame Des Garcins. <laughs> Guarantee I slaughtered that, but I'm gonna write that down on the list. Um, I want you to take my word when I when I when I say that that brand is worth really really good money. Uh, just 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 Google it, Google it, eBay it, check the sold listings, big money right there. Uh, here's another good brand when it comes to sweaters, guys. This does really really well, believe it or not. Also does really well with uh, you know pants, you know the outdoor pants. I've done really well on, and uh, the brand is cool. K U H L cool. And, uh, you know, if you want to be cool, rock the cool brand. Um, it's an outdoor brand, kind of like North Face in a sense. Um, they've got a lot of outdoor -y types of gear. Here's the tag right here. This is the brand you want to be looking out for. This is the tag. Um, wool does really well. Also, they have a lot of different mixed material types of sweaters as well. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to type in cool men's sweater. And we're going to go to the sold listings. Okay. And we're going to put in used. And I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. Here's a one-fourth zip cool uh, extra large sweater. Went for 27 Bless you, Jameson. Here's another one that went for 30 35 39 Pullover fleece. Best offer under 26 under 49 uh, Here's a cool little lot. This is a great idea, guys. Look, there's a pullover lotted with a long sleeve button front shirt and a pair of pants. Just very creative. I love it. I love seeing stuff like that. Um, you know, here's an alpaca sweater. Alf I think they, they uh, spelled that wrong. Anyways, um, 
50 bucks, 24, 20, 40. Again, guys, we're gonna, we're not going to dive into the the specifics, but definitely an awesome brand to be on the lookout for. Going to put that down on the list for you guys to download after this show in the description area. Uh, but as you can see, some aren't going for as much, others are. So you're going to want to try to find a similar uh, a similar item that has sold. You looking for some packing materials? I got some packing paper there as well. Just don't use it all like a crazy person. <laughs> okay, okay, I got you, I got you. I'm being like, never mind. All right, um, let's uh, go back into the sweater section. Here's a vintage 90s Ralph Lauren polo. That one for 50 bucks. That's a beautiful item right there. Here's a DKNY uh, cashmere v-neck sweater, forty-one ninety-seven. Uh, here's another good brand, guys. Pringle of Scotland. Now, Bernard, I'd like to know if uh, you've ever heard of this brand before, and we're going to dive a little deeper into this brand, Pringle of Scotland. And I want you to notice that it's a hundred percent cashmere, guys. Hundred percent cashmere. So we're going to take that. We're going to copy and paste that. Whoa! I don't know why it always does that. Pringle of Scotland. Okay, and then we're going to type in the sold listings. I mean, look, $59.99, 40 and this is actually merino wool, which is cool to know. 100% uh, cashmere, $44.99. Um, $15.99, as you can see, that looks like it's maybe like a cotton or a wool. Let's check out what the material is on this. Lamb's wool only went for $15.99. Uh, so cashmere is always going to bring in a little more money. But yeah, guys, that's another brand right there to be on the lookout for. Pringle of Scotland. As you can hear, Jameson is taping up his boxes. Putting in his work, putting in his work. I like to see it. This is a good sweater to be on the lookout for. And when I say sweater, it's kind of like a pullover sweater slash jacket in a sense. But the Nautica competition items do really well. Not all of them. Uh, some do better than others. But uh, that one for 40 bucks. You guys, check this out right here. Patagonia is a brand. Oh, my gosh. Patagonia is a brand that you want to be on the lookout for. Anything Patagonia is gold. Anything Patagonia, and this is kind of like a fleece, right? I mean, I guess it, I guess it falls under the sweater category in a sense. Um, so I'm going to put this down on our list. But Patagonia is an awesome brand to be on the lookout for. Probably one of my top five brands. If you would ask me, Steve, what are your top five brands? Patagonia is going to be up there. It's definitely going to be up there. Um, awesome item right there. So I'm going to have to get off shortly in about five minutes. So I'm actually going to end the broadcast now, the sharing of the screen. I'm going to answer some questions right now. So again, guys, if you want to download this list, we've got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 brands that we went over. If you want to download that list, check in the description in a couple of hours, and I'll be sure to link that up for you guys to get your hands on, to do more research on. So now I'm going to end this uh, screen share. Okay. And I'm going to pop back on the screen and we're going to answer some questions. So if you guys have any questions regarding selling clothing on eBay, even if you have FBA questions or making money online, internet marketing, any question you guys have, feel free to ask away in the comments section and we will help you out as much as possible. So let me check it out. Let me refresh the screen. Picking for Profit, thanks for your time and sharing with everyone. You are welcome, Picking for Profit, anytime. Is Mithril a good material to sell on eBay? I think it's a brand called Moria. Could you be any louder, bro? Loud. So loud, man. So loud. I'm going to be off in five minutes, so if you want to – okay, cool. Okay. Oh, it's, it's 4.56, man. Yeah, but they're not going to drop the package off till tomorrow. Okay. Um, let's see. How much do you usually make off the sweaters on eBay? It really depends on the actual brand, guys. It's it's really going to depend on the brand that you are selling. Um, 
So, you know, I can't give you an exact number for each item, but take a look at the sold listings, guys. It doesn't matter what, don't worry about what I'm selling on eBay. Worry about what you're selling on eBay. Go out and make it happen. Again, guys, I'm very part-time with clothing now. Um, but as you guys know, if you followed my channel, I've put in my work. I've been selling clothing on eBay for years. I was doing it full-time at one point. And, uh, you know, I know a lot about it, but I don't know everything and there's so much to learn. But as you could see, you know, the point of these videos is to open up your eyes to the opportunities. So don't worry about what I'm selling. Don't worry about Johnny selling or Heather or Greg or all these people out there. Worry about yourself. There's too many people who worry about what everyone else is doing. Worry about yourself. Go out and study. Go out and educate. Go out to the thrift store. Go make it happen. Put in your time. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop worrying about what the next guy is making. Don't compete with the next guy. Compete with yourself. Look in the mirror and compete with who that is. Compete with the results that you had last week, last month, last year. That's how you're going to get better. And that's one of the biggest things that I've learned and has allowed me to grow as an entrepreneur and the different things that I'm doing is not competing with everybody else, competing with myself. Because at the end of the day, you know, the most the people who are most successful, they're competing with themselves. They're improving daily. So yeah, that that was my two cents on that. Steve, I buy printers and you want to know how to test the item. I'm not sure what that means. How to test printers? Is that what you're asking? Would you talk about sales strategies next time? We all been told to run sales using Markdown Manager, manager but do you have any strategies to do it? Um, just run sales. You know, you're going to need the, the the pro store. If you have the free store, you're not going to be able to run sales through the Markdown Manager. But if you do have an upgraded store, just run sales. Experiment with different percentages off. Um, I've found a strong correlation between running sales, whether it's 5%, 10%, 20% off. It doesn't matter. But I found a strong correlation between running a sale and having increased traffic to my store and making more money from uh, my eBay business. So just run sales, experiment with different numbers in terms of 5% or 20% off, gauge your progress and see what works best for you. But sales are great, you know, run them, just run the sales. There's really not much strategy uh, behind it. Uh, just run sales and uh, gauge your success. You know, I've always found that running sales works best for me. Some people don't run sales. Some people only do auctions. Some people only do buy it now. But, uh, you know, just, just try it out and, and see what works for you. That's the key. <laughs> All right. Um, Curtis Finch, first time catching a live feed. UK in the house. Jameson, man, we got UK in the house right now. UK in the house. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. I'm trying to change his ways. I hear you. Uh, I've been following your videos forever. Big shout out to E. Ramirez in the house. Appreciate it, E. Appreciate the support. Bernard says, do you feel men's clothes sell better than women's clothing? I don't have a lot of experience selling women's clothing, guys, so I can't, I can't talk upon something I've never done before. Um, now, of course, I've sold a few women's items, uh, but I've always just been focused on my niche of men's clothing. So, um, you know, from what I've heard, women's clothing does sell well, but you are going to see increased amounts of returns just because you know how women are, guys. You, you know, it doesn't fit. There's a lot more curves on a woman. There's a lot more things that could go wrong. Um, so I don't have much experience. So if there's any women in the house who sell women's clothing, let us know what your thoughts are. Jad, Shadow Dog, can you get in gated in shoes even though you have absolutely no sales on Amazon? Uh, yes, you can get in gated in shoes, clothing, um, but I believe you are going to need a uh, pro seller account. Is that right, Jameson? Yeah, you're going to need a pro seller account. So it doesn't matter if you don't have any sales. They're actually doing instant approval right now, um, but you're going to have to have that pro seller account. All right, I'm just looking through some of the comments to see if there's anything else I can answer for you guys. Only experience wearing them. Yeah, that's it, Scott. Um, do you sell international yet? I always have. And uh, I've never really done the global shipping program. If you're going to sell internationally, you have two options. Global shipping program, which is pretty much a program that allows you to ship to a warehouse in the United States that's run by eBay, and then they'll process it and ship it off and you're not responsible for anything after the uh, transit from the uh, the main warehouse, or you could ship directly to the international buyer in the country that they're purchasing from. I've always just shipped directly to them, but I've heard a lot of people say it's safer to ship via uh, global shipping program. 
But yeah, that is about it, guys. Appreciate you guys watching live. I've got to get ready for a softball game starting soon. And uh, Jameson's going to probably need some help bringing some boxes out to UPS. But I want to thank you guys for watching live. Do me a big favor. Hit the like button right now. Smash that like button, whether you're on you know, uh, a laptop, a desktop, an iPad. Smash that like button right now. We've got 47 people watching live. Also, uh, give me a couple hours, but I'm going to create a free PDF download for you guys covering all of these brands that we went over. Uh, some of the best men's sweater brands to make you money on eBay. And uh, I'm sure we'll be doing another one of these live shows again, talking about sweaters because there's so many more brands to focus on and other types of items. Also, if you have an idea for something you want me to research live on eBay, whether it's an electronic item, a type of book, whether it's kids books or textbooks or Legos or there's a million different things, coffee pots, <laughs> um, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to learn, what you guys want to uh, educate one another with. Uh, but with that being said, thanks for watching live. Smash that like button, leave a comment below, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you can receive more of these videos. And until next time, have a great day. Keep on picking, making that money. Bada bing, bada boom. And I'll see you soon.